Good day and uh, welcome to Africa Nuclear Research Reactor Updates. My name is Ibrahim Ababu from Nuclear Business Platform and I will be your host today. Spread over four weeks, Africa Nuclear Research Reactor Updates focuses on developments in four key regions of African uh, continent, which are uh, West Africa, the Maghreb, Central and Southern Africa, and finally East Africa. The first one is promoting and implementing Kenya's nuclear power program. The second one is coordinating research and development. In terms of the, 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 the program, the nuclear power program in Kenya is based on the International Atomic Energy Agency milestone approach. We consider ourselves to be at the beginning of phase two. We have already uh, made considerations before launching a nuclear power program. We have been able to uh, evaluate our various uh, infrastructure issues. Uh, we continue to conduct several activities, including comprehensive site assessment, in order to determine which one is uh, most suited for our country. And this uh, sector plan recommended the establishment of a center for nuclear research for peaceful applications. Uh, following uh, the IEA milestone approach for research reactor program, and uh, for this uh, structure, we are actually uh, at the end of phase two, where we are always almost completing a feasibility study. Our project has a potential sighting in the Konza Technopolis, and we expect that the construction and full power operation uh, to be in place by 2030. I believe that there's a lot of potential even for collaboration across the borders, but for the sighting, I think there's still some time. We expect our sighting studies to, to, be, an, to be done within about three years. Indeed, there are so, so many partnership opportunities both for the nuclear power program, nuclear research reactor program. And I also highlighted our two additional mandates that are recently gained. That is for coordination of research and development as well as capacity building for the energy sector. In the East Africa, and Uganda in particular, is most welcome. And therefore, that's why governments in this region are looking at this to enhance and to enhance the agriculture sector. In this regard, the country has uh, has already endorsed a nuclear power program with the intention of establishing nuclear power plants for electricity generation. So, in Uganda, we plan to undertake these business studies by 2020. We are pursuing all those aspects you highlighted, the feasibility studies, milestone approach, and once we have the political support and the social support, then there is nothing that can hinder any development of these, uh, these uh, installations because we regard them as key factors in contributing toward the social economic transformation of our countries. Thank you. Thank you very much, Noah. Thank you very much question here uh, you already mentioned the challenges but uh, Stephen is asking great progress in Uganda what challenges do you see as you embark on your program so the challenges you are facing not general challenges but specific to you yes I highlighted on these challenges generally which also affect us uh, I talked of the challenge chair of human resource, human resource. We are all aware that to operate and regulate these technologies, you need trained, competent human resources. And these are not adequate as of now. So we need to still build the capacity in that regard. I mentioned of, of, of legal institutional framework. These are not in place yet. So they, since they are not in place, you cannot move any further without them. You have to first establish them. And you may agree with me that to come up with a, a law, it can take years because of the processes, although this depends on the different legal systems in different countries, but now it's quite long. By the time it reaches the present to ascend to the law to be implemented it can take quite long and when it comes to nuclear as i said nuclear technologies of this caliber 
look at your research here you as nuclear power plants. Still, there is stigma among the public, among the masses. Uh, it's not that you wake up one day and say we are establishing this and established. You need to have to do some groundwork. You must get the socialized things I talked about. And to have this, say that the law can be enacted, institutional uh, framework built, it, it, it can take some time energies and finance so these are some of the challenges but uh, despite those challenges once there's political commitment then it is easy to surmount all this and that means there is always light at the end of the tunnel if we are to transform uh, this uh, our economies and as i highlighted earlier that we are looking at nuclear technology for peaceful application, particularly production of electricity and the radio of pharmaceuticals in, to be used in the medical field. These are looked at as very critical in improving our, uh, our social lives and the economy. So those are some of the challenges. Yes. Thank you very much, Noah. We have, uh, and you mentioned that uh, about uh, nuclear power plant for electricity generation. Is there like uh, uh, concrete plans uh, ongoing right now? Yes, there are concrete plans because we already have um, a government uh, endorsement of that project. Second one question about uh, human resource development and capacity building as well. But actually, we had a we we had a a project on the establishment of the security at Tanzania, and the, we had a feasibility study. We had submitted to the government the big project on security actors among the. In the project that have had received the green light to continue with, we are moving to feasibility study. Actually, the minimum we have set is 10 years, but we think during the cycle 20, 2022 2023, we have this now real feasibility study 